Hey there celestial beings, welcome back. Now today I wanted to talk about a title I see all over YouTube which is I don't dream of labour, I don't dream of a job and the reason why I wanted to talk about it is it's because it's something I've been touching upon in a lot of my videos about influencers who have been selling courses, selling a kind of dream life, dream jobs, this kind of digital nomad working online, selling um, all kinds of products and I've been sharing my perspective on those things but I wanted to go deeper into it and touch upon my experience and some of the things I've been finding out and the reason for that is because I don't think a dream can ever be a job. Can you see the hummingbird? You might hear a hummingbird coming in and out of shot from time to time. It's just up there, it's so cute. So this whole idea of a dream and a job a dream job I think is a very Western perspective I guess a very Americanized perspective in the world like I guess the American dream the land of opportunity it's all about being able to make money be successful and supposedly these things are dream-like aspirations and those dream-like aspirations are driven by power money status and that by having this amount of money you're gonna somehow reach financial freedom and from the videos and the critical videos I've been making about certain influences charging large amounts of money for products that I don't even think are really that useful to people it's just more of a scam and how you market yourself and preying on vulnerable people that some of these influencers are able to make money and so-called live their dreams seemingly on Instagram because they're able to take these perfect shots and give this impression they are living the dream but in reality they've got to hustle quite hard to do it at the expense of some people who are working maybe a nine to five and in a sense they're not happy so they're looking to people they see online and it's all a massive illusion and I think the American dream is really one big illusion and that big illusion is really destroying people and it's starting to come out I guess through these videos I've seen online over this topic it's been a kind of dig at capitalism and so I wanted to talk a little bit more about that all in this video. Before I forget I wanted to say that by doing these critical videos about these influencers one of the main comments I kept getting from people was there's no need to judge these people, there's no need to be critical of these influencers because this is how they make money and there's nothing wrong with that. But I sort of disagree. I think the whole way we've been brought up in the West is to believe that um, we have this single track focus that you have to follow your own singular dream and that's at the expense uh, of using other people along the way. And as someone who has done many jobs myself, from the service industry to creative jobs to the food industry um, and even working digitally online I have seen quite a large spectrum of different kind of workplaces and the reasons why I've done some of these jobs is because I thought they were careers I wanted to go into say I did running work for film and TV I did art direction because I'm creative and I thought that's one I would I thought that's what I wanted to do. I ended up um, learning jewelry making and I thought I wanted to be a jewelry maker. I um, just did some jobs for the money. I did call center work. I've done the retail shops, bars, restaurants, you name it. And so um, what I found is every time that I did um, a work that was say crappy, I would use you know my spare time to learn things that I was interested in and when I did the work that I thought would be more of my dream or career I found out that I was extremely disillusioned in that there are a lot of steps to get to say the top or even to get into a job or a position where you can get paid like running work in TV 
a lot of the time you've got to volunteer before you can even get a paid job and then getting that paid job can be the be really unstable so I started to realize that actually it's really hard to get your dream job and there's many reasons for that there's a lot more people now who are educated and experienced and it's just so much harder to be able to break into certain industries and maybe fair enough the people who have more experience are more deserving of those jobs but sometimes it's who you know what you know right place right time kind of thing so I started to give up really on my own dreams and um, in terms of it being anything related to money and I feel a lot more free because of that and I feel like I understand a lot more about um, the issues that we're facing right now and why people are struggling even to find work and survive and this crisis is um, not only within the Western world where this pressure of the American dream exists but it's being um, fed to people all across the globe so at the moment I have been living kind of like a, dig a digital nomad life however I haven't really been making a shit ton of money I'm not going to say I'm a digital nomad and I'm living this amazing dream and I'm going from expensive resort to the next no I'm trying to travel very cheaply Normally I will volunteer my time and um, exchange things so you know some of my skills and I'll get a place to stay and whatever and that allows me to um, learn about a culture and I get to see more than if you're a digital nomad working on a computer you sit in a kind of resort by a pool and you're on your laptop and you're not really in the world around you, you're not in the culture around you, you just fly in and fly out and it's a very consumerist kind of um, job to have. So by traveling this way instead of having loads of money but by doing exchange kind of work I've been able to learn about people's cultures and learn about what's really going on. I've stayed in actual villages with people and spoken to them like you know the real people who live there and what I've seen is the detrimental effects of Americanization or this American dream. People no longer want to live their provincial life and I think a lot of people might be like they shouldn't have to. Everyone should be entitled to a job that they dream of but the problem with this is I don't think um, the whole of the world should be developed in the way America is. America is in a crisis right now. A lot of the land has been ruined by mass agriculture and mass agriculture exists like monocultures to feed people who don't want to grow their own food. They do office jobs, they buy from the supermarket and these large scale industries of growing food are destroying the planet, they're destroying the local biodiversity. And that affects us as humans, that affects the planet, this affects the global climate crisis that we live in right now. And the reality is we might not have a planet to dream of a lovely life, to have a dream of traveling, to dream of um, enjoying it and experiencing uh, things if we just continue down this route. So this whole idea that the whole world should be, I guess, industrialized, um, is scary to me and but it's happening and so I see um, cultures that were very connected to the earth connected to self-sufficiency and having an abundance of things having an abundance of fruit vegetables and everything growing you know like in tropical climates there is something growing all the time and people <laughs> don't go hungry you know in the sense only when um, they start farming for one crop a cash crop that's sold to the global market. When people are self-sufficient and living off the abundance of what a tropical forest can give you, um, there is no starvation. So there is no need for a job. So I met a local Mayan man um, recently because I'm in Belize at the moment. I'm very close to the Maya biosphere. He told me I would be lying if I'm hungry and this was in his food forest. And, he, and I asked him what it used to be like here. And he said, you know, even 50 years ago, we were just growing all our own food like I have in this forest. And if I didn't have something and my neighbor had something, we would swap it. We didn't need money. And the only time when we did need money, we would go and sell some of our produce at the market. So at that time, there wasn't actually a lot of stuff here. Everything just came from 
the local area, but people were thriving here. And people were thriving here for thousands of years. The Mayan culture was a huge civilization. It was very successful. And there were a lot of people living in this way, in an indigenous way of growing, sharing, and living in abundance. They didn't have the stress of having to have a job. But now, unfortunately, you see people drinking Coca-Cola, you see people eating crappy food, things on packets, they don't grow their food anymore, or not as many people. Um, they're just chopping everything down, they're spraying pesticide on things, and people are being disempowered, indigenous people are being disempowered by Americanization. And one of the biggest things in the news at the moment, um, you may have seen about the migrants from Central America, there's this huge problem. And this is a social economic problem to do with climate change. And a lot of these people are being like, um, a lot of these people want to migrate because they're no longer able to grow their crops. But the thing is, a lot of people have been growing their crops as crash crops for the bigger market. Guatemala, for example, has a huge coffee industry that's being affected by gli the climate crisis. However, instead of growing crash crops, if they had just continued to live their subsistent farming way of life, they wouldn't be in such a crisis. So all of our dreams have been driven by this economic push of capitalism, if you want to call it. There are other systems other than like communism, for example. We, these are just political, ide and political and economically driven ideologies. People didn't need these 3,000 years ago. The Maya people didn't have capitalism. I don't think they had communism. They were just um, living and managing forests that had basically 80% useful plants, fruit trees, herbs, medicines. All they had to do was um, basically manage what was already there. In some senses, they didn't even need to plant or plow. They just removed some of the bush, let some um, of the plants that had just volunteered to come up, let them grow, and yeah. And so basically that is a paradise, like you don't need anything else. You wake up in the morning, you have all the food you need, you have all the medicine you need, you have your neighbors who will share with you. What else do you need them when uh, to survive? And then you have time, like the Mayan culture, had its own writing system, they were philosophers, they were astronomers. They had time to really uh, have, they had time to have this flourishing culture. And the culture is driven by people having, yeah, time on their hands. You can do your art, you know, you can have your hobbies. So the whole idea that we should do a single job that's gonna fulfill our dreams is crazy because human beings need variety. And so this whole lie that we've been fed about you need to go to school to learn this and then you need to go to an institution where you pay a load of money, this is a scam as well, to then get a piece of paper to then do this specific job. Yeah, maybe for some very specific jobs you might need to get that piece of paper, doctors, whatever, um, some scientists, whatever but there's a lot of people on this planet right now and the idea that everyone should do that to be able to live their dream or dedicate 10 years of their life to do something and then realize that that thing isn't what they wanted to do or they're no good at it anyway i just feel like what i've seen from personal experience is that most people just want to be able to feed themselves they want to have time to do the things they enjoy and the whole idea of working hard for most people is a chore. So just to be able to switch up what we think is a dream or a dream life or what should fulfill our dreams, I think is the key to reversing a lot of the damage that we are seeing in this society right now. And I feel like we can learn a lot from indigenous cultures, at least the way that they were until this corruption of the American dream. And so, yeah, I have a lot more to say on these topics, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I'll be interested to see what you think about all this. Please let 
me know in the comments below and uh, smash the like if you enjoyed it that would help a lot if you're new here maybe consider subscribing because hey that's the way to stay um, up to date with my videos but I also have a telegram group where people can chat about these things and a channel so yeah join the telegram channel and then that's how you get the link to the group so yeah all the links in the description and i'll see you next time peace